Donald Demers from Elliott, Maine, returned to Plain Air Easton in July of 2013 as awards judge after serving as the entry jurist in 2012. The awards judge selects the winning paintings in the Plein Air Easton National Competition and in the Quick Draw Competition. Mr. Demers is one of the finest marine and landscape painters in America. The exemplary level of his paintings has placed them in some of the most prestigious public and private collections in the country. Mr. Demers spent a few minutes with Plein Air Easton as we took a closer look at Garen Baker's grand prize winning painting, A Buck Twenty a Bushel. When I was given the privilege and responsibility of judging this show, I walked into the room to see 116 paintings, all of which were good. Some were excellent, some were brilliant. And this painting stood out visually from all of the others. It showed up from across the room. This painting could be seen from 100 feet away. It had such visual power and strength. So that was the first thing that attracted me to it. And as I approached the painting and looked at it over and over, I became aware of just how unusual this painting is, particularly within the traditions of plein air painting. It's an extremely difficult painting to make. And that, so I began to be impressed by that. And then the storyline unfolded. Who is this man? Why did the artist select this person? How did he even arrange to have the painting, uh, the, the, uh, the person posed? So uh, I began to really enjoy the painting on a number of levels. And then I started to look at it more artistically and realize just how it falls into such a strong tradition of American painting, going back to N.C. Wyeth and George Bellows and so many other practitioners. You can go all the way back to Soroya and Sargent if you want, where an ordinary person was turned into an icon. This simple young fisherman was elevated in his stature from the way he'd been painted. And if you just take some time to look at the expertise in this, the drawing in this is really exquisite. The foreshortening of that forearm, the way that hand drops over the wheel, moves up to the shoulder, the massiveness of his back just the color variation and the values where there's some light here but as his back turns toward the, uh, going toward the, uh, the roof of this boat you can see the tan on his neck and his shoulders and it really describes what this young man is a hard-working fisherman so for all those reasons there are so many other dynamic elements in this artistically that I could talk about it for an extended period of time, but if you just see this bold strength, the unusual subject, and the expertise with which it was painted, those were my reasons for selecting it. Stay tuned for a video recap of the week-long Plein Air Easton 2013 Competition and Arts Festival.